Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Iron Curtain Cold War mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Or really Cold War Iron Curtain. But regardless, I'm Mr. Mokalover as you probably know by now. But right now we are doing more of the focus tree here in which we are doing the military sector. Which we're about to finish it up. And we're going to try to do the expansion of the EEC. European Energy Commission maybe? Maybe? Um, we still need to do a credit supervision. We still need to invest in civil. Just invest in civil. Create the European monetary system. Um, okay. Interesting. The Kingdom of Belgium and the Kingdom of Italy, they both get ad common market euro. But not us. Expand the TV uh, industry. Of course, leave the snake in the tunnel. Remove common marketplace euro. Wait, remove that. Okay. Expand armaments, of course. And expand some of the railways, which would be pretty good. And we still need to do some of this stuff down here too, but we got some comments to go through. Also, before we do that though, I did, or was able to actually puppet Brazil eventually with a guy smoking here, Emilio Frondlin. Um, we got him as a puppet eventually just because established independent state. We eventually had double the GDP, which at this point we have five times our GDP, so... I don't know, this mod is a little funky, funky, funky. It says you need a double. We needed five times the amount of uh, GDP, but we got some more comments uh, to talk about, such as, um, let's see... Uh, someone earlier wanted me to do the Austria-Hungary in this campaign, if it's possible, or at least, you know, as a campaign in the Cold War Iron Curtain mod. Um, let's see. If there's no monarchist path for either Hungary or Austria, then why not the Hohenzollern of Germany, West Germany, the Qing of China? Uh, maybe Puyi to get to be, play as Emperor Puyi if possible, or the Japanese Empire? Maybe, we'll see. Someone asked, is it possible to create the United States of Central America? I don't think there is. I went through some of the focus trees for, like, Guatemala at Honduras and Costa Rica, and I didn't see anything there for that. When are we going to play as Free Norway again in TNO? That's a very, very good question. Um, and someone else asks, where is he? Tell me where he is. Where are you Where are you hiding? Is I know that somewhere I'm... is hiding? Yeah, well, that's a weird comment. And someone says, where is my Gandhi campaign? So at the time of this recording, I'm also playing a Gandhi campaign in Kaiserreich, but I've not been playing it just because at the time of this recording, and for quite a while, now what's this? Supreme Military Council swears loyalty to the Crown Prince and Queen? Nice. I like the uniform though, it's very nice. Interesting. But, uh, at the time of recording, I just don't have time. I literally don't have time. Like, I spend like three hours a night making this, like, the, this video for the past couple of videos for Cold War Anchor, just sitting here. Literally just sitting here waiting time for to go on. Um, seeing if there's anything else in this mod for France. Um, so yeah. And also we shot up our economy quite a bit, which is very nice. I don't understand the economy very well, just because, uh, yeah, we still get all the money from the resource export income, which is, don't get me wrong, it's great, I love it, I love getting a lot of money, but, like I said before, there's really not much else to do with it, but yeah, I'm just, sometimes I'm just so busy, I, I have like 13 hour days, like I leave before like 7am and come back at like 8, so, it is what it is, but let's continue doing some more focuses! And here we have it, everyone, the very, very, very cool event, ee underscore event dot one dot t, after doing the create the monetary uh, system. How exhilarating. But I went ahead and did uh, the FECOM creation, which looks pretty nice. And I already did use Gons commands for the FGE victory, just because we could. Um, honestly, at this point, uh, we might as well just use Gons like, commands to just finish out this campaign. Obviously, the video's not going to be very long, but like... It's a little boring, I'll be honest. It's like, it's, it's really boring, and like I said earlier, I've been just, I'm just sitting here doing other things, so. Um, so yeah, here's a couple of comments I've already used. Oh, is, is that Khrushchev with a piece of bread, or is that corn? I think it's corn. Yeah, I've already used the, the uh, FA and stuff like that, so actually, I'll we'll just go and do this, because I, I really don't think there's anything left here, especially for 1980, so let's go do FA, and then, well, we can leave that one on for now. So expand the TV industry, uh, leave a snake in the tunnel, oh, look at that. Expand the armaments, expand the railways, start mining region uh, reconversion, hot, test high speed trains, which doesn't look too bad. Civilian nuclear program, electro nuclear program, exp increased weapon exports, civilian nuclear program 2, European agreement on international traffic arteries, tertiary sector boom, international nuclear contact, and finish Paris urbanization. But we can also do the European Space Agency, which would be very nice. Uh, the European Space Agency has been created with officially with the objective of uniting many different European nations to create an international space agency and promote space-related innovation. It also seeks to promote cooperation and share scientific knowledge between the member states of the agency. 
Um, I think I've already read this one, so. Yeah, I already read this one, so if you want to read this again, please go ahead. Never direct support. Pompidou Death. Um, the French Air Force, of course, Tactical Nuclear Jaguar, Cargo Helicopter uh, Development, Air Doctrine, Super Mirage Development, ASW Helicopters, and AAM Missiles. The French Army, Army XP, Improved Equipment, Mechanized Corps, Exercise in Champagne, and Develop Leclerc. The French Navy, Continue Sub-Development, Develop New Cruisers, Naval Doctrine, as well as replace those old carriers that we bought from America, and Stop Atmosphere Testing. Oh boy. Under the direction of VGE, we have now stopped all atmospheric te nuclear tests in the country for a myriad of reasons. After uh, over a decade of testing and damage, it's finally time for France to take a stand and stop. Go to it. Accelerate the nuclear program. Dissolve the ORTF. Implement a legislative reform. Paris status reform. Vo lower voting majority. Fight against unemployment. Support the PLO. Oh, the Jews won't like that. We begin supporting the Palestinian Liberation Organization in their struggles. We are sending monetary and material aid to them to help support the cause. Make good use of it. And wa pressed wiretapping, which is actually really, really good. Economic austerity. Take immigration measures. Establish the UDF. United Democratic Front has been founded in France. The group opposes apartheid, institutional systematic racism, and supports democratic reforms in Africa. Outstanding development. Divorce reform. Rights for the disabled. IFG legislation and SECU generalization. Which actually, uh, is this one too? And I believe that should be every single focus for this. Oh wait, wait what? What are we doing right now? We oh we're, we're still building stuff in up in Greece. Before we do that, um, do apologize for using cons commands, but like at this point, there's, there's like nothing else in this campaign for us. I mean, it would be one thing if there was another focus saying that oh we'll go to the 1980s focus tree, but there is nothing there. I don't think very much is going to happen, but manage subjects, huh? Okay, so we literally just annexed these guys. Nice. Well, I'll definitely save that for another campaign some other time. Knowing that we can actually literally just annex these... Oh my goodness. Look at all these divisions are costing. Oh, never mind. Alright, so... It should be a way to upgrade each state, right? Yeah, tech requirements not met. Oh, yeah, we can still upgrade it, though. Mm, maybe... We, I don't think we're supposed to be able to, uh... Actually, quite literally, just annex Greece. But, you know what? I can c proudly say that we did annex them, and we expanded our own territory in this campaign. Even though we struggled a little bit in Southeast Asia, but what is a little bit of French struggle in Southeast Asia? Vietnam never really happened, but we did lose Korea, which, in the, like, since I've been doing this, like... I'm slowly influencing Korea, just to see what it would be like if we could actually get Kim Jong or whoever under our belt, after we're going to be done upgrading Greece as much as possible. Yeah, I was trying to influence these guys too. Which, we were at 68%, which is not bad, and we went a little longer, we probably could have done this. Kim Cheng Bong, with the United Arab Republic, but we still can't establish dep dependency because they must have doubled the GDP on the target. Well, we're over 600 billion, they're 137 billion, so I'm not sure why we can't do that, but yeah, it would have been nice to get Korea. But, other than that, I'll pay off the debt. I'm not really sure there's anything else, so I'm probably going to end that campaign right here. If you enjoyed this campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know. What did you think of this campaign? Was it good? Was it bad? Would you like to see more Cold War Iron Curtain mod? I know this video isn't very long, but like... Let me know what your thoughts are on the entire thing, even though America is probably still at war. <laughs> with the war South back. But regardless, thanks for watching. And have a great, 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 great rest of your day.